Um, the reason that I am pro-life today is um, because of a situation that I put myself in uh, when I was younger. I was involved with a, a young woman and um, we, we had a relationship together, a very physical relationship. Um, we got pregnant together and um, later on she, uh, she didn't tell me at first. And you know, a couple weeks went by, and then a month. Um, and then she told me that she, she was pregnant. And then from then on, no, no communication for a month or two again. And that's when she, you know, I called her and I said, what's going on? And she told me that she had an abortion. And, you know, it just, it hit me very hard that the life that I helped create, whether I wanted to or not, it was my doing, is now terminated, is gone. That life is officially gone, it has no hope. You know, that could be the next Martin Luther King, it could be the next Gandhi, it could be the next Mother Teresa that could help somebody. And you know, I was a part of terminating that child. I had nightmares, I went into a depression, I got involved with a lot of things that I shouldn't have because I was so upset because it affected me as a male and affected me so hard that there was nothing I could do about it that that life was gone and that's why I'm pro-life.